the corner. All right. Well, hello, hello, everybody. Some of you, this is the first time I've seen you in 2021, and boy, don't you look good. And uh, for others, uh, you're around here uh, last week as well, so good to see you back here again. So uh, welcome again to Business Owners Smashing It Online. This is our second session this year. First one on a Tuesday. Uh, last week, we had it on Wednesday because Tuesday was Australia Day and I was down at the beach. So uh, tonight's uh, topic is uh, discover how to win more clients with uh, less effort. And uh, we do have a guest speaker, which we are going to introduce uh, a wee bit later on. It is the uh, inimitable, I can't even say that word, you know, why do I even bother trying? It's Tim Hyde. <laughs> So, uh, so he's he's here to join us uh, tonight. So, uh, give us a wave, Tim, and uh, we'll introduce him a little bit later on. For those that uh, don't remember Tim, uh, he's been on here once before last year, and that was our one and only time that we had uh, the uh, Zoom session hacked by porn bombers. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this is Tim. So uh, he's agreed to come back and uh, try and repeat the experience tonight. I think we've got the. Uh, the settings are all pretty well on board. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the settings pretty well locked down, so I don't think we're going to have any of those uh, randoms uh, coming in tonight. <laughs> so just while we're waiting for uh, others to uh, get here, i uh, love you to introduce yourself. Uh, for those that want to, we've got time for a few to introduce yourself. So tell us your name, your, uh, your zone of genius. So what, what are you really known for? And uh, most importantly, what are you hoping to get out of tonight? Why, why are you here tonight? So, who's first? Okay. Hello, I'll Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Debbie, you go first. <laughs> go, Debbie, and we'll come back to you all. <laughs> the two my introverts name... in the room. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, my name's Debbie Small, and I'm the founder of Empowerment Point, and I connect business owners with the skills they need to succeed. So, what I'm hoping to get out of tonight is... To to learn more about automation because uh yeah i'm really tired of doing everything myself <laughs> and automation is the key to getting your life back i think well i certainly hope so so uh let's see what uh, tim's got to share he's taking notes there i can see so i uh, hope he's going to answer all those and uh, make sure that we leave here fully automated tonight all right aldrin uh, hello. Hello. I'm Alden Alternay, known as the Media Queen. What I do is I help people get their message to the masses using online and offline media. And this is not my first rodeo with Nick Cree. We've done many events together. And in fact, Nick's speaking yeah. at my event tomorrow night, the Mass Media Tribe event about transforming your business online. So we've done lots of great work together. The Digital Transformer. Uh, so great to be here. I always learn something from the business owners smashing it online events. I've seen Tim quite a few times before too. In fact, we both went to the same uni in Canberra many years ago, would you believe, Canberra University, back in the day. So uh, it's great to... Uh, at the great, same time even. At the same time, can you believe that? So 92 to 94, <laughs> we're showing our age now. <laughs> Amazing how things go full circle. And tonight I've invited a very special guest. I've got Louisa Pateman I've invited, who's never been at one of your events before, Nick, and she's written a phenomenal book. So I want to pass the, the speaker uh, microphone over to uh, Louisa to introduce herself, because I'm sure you're going to love what she has to say. Awesome. Well, welcome along, uh, uh, Aldrin, uh, as ever, and uh, a special welcome to Louisa. Glad you've uh, made it. So just unmute yourself, Louisa. Hey, okay. There you go. I'm a novice. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so thanks, Aldwin, and yeah, thanks, Nick. Um, so basically, I have written my memoir, which is single, single again and again and again. Uh, basically, I'm a single mother by choice, and um, I got into my late thirties having never met my soulmate or met the one. And um, after a string of failed relationships, I decided to go down the path of single motherhood. And uh, following my journey, I've just had so many people ask me about it, and they can relate to it, and asked me to talk to their daughter, their sister, their cousin, their uncle. And so I decided to pen my story. And uh, basically the book, it tackles the issue of happily ever after and the pressure that we put on young girls and society puts on young girls to, to find the one and that we deem success as getting married and having kids. And But that doesn't happen for all of us. And so, yeah, so basically I penned my story, but it's not just about 
the single motherhood journey. It's actually more about relationships and explores that whole happily ever after notion and hopefully inspires women um, to have the courage to be single and go out and live your life on your own. And I guess not just sit on the couch pining for the love of a man, particularly if he doesn't come along. Awesome. Well, that sounds like a really important book. I've got a daughter who is 17 years old. So uh, that's probably a really good book for her to be reading as well, too. So I'm glad you've written that. Yes, I've actually had a lot of feedback from um, uh, reviewers. And what's interesting is I originally thought it would be for women in their 30s. And I'm actually getting a lot of feedback from mothers of teenage daughters basically saying, oh, my goodness, I didn't realise how much pressure I was putting on my daughter. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it can start some conversations. Awesome. Excellent. Oh, well, look, welcome along tonight. Glad to have you tonight. And uh, thanks for uh, sharing the uh, book you've written. <laughs> thanks. All right. Who else we got here tonight? Come and introduce yourself, your name, your zone of genius, and what you're hoping to get out of tonight. G'day, Nick. Um, Grant Nelson's here. How are you? G'day, Grant. How are you going? Good, good. Um, as you know, uh... CEO and founder of Nobi. Um We've basically revolutionised the building of processes and instructions and turned it into something more akin to posting on social media step by step. So look, tonight I'm, I'm just interested. Simple as that. Excellent, excellent. And uh, hopefully we'll get Grant on to, uh, as a guest uh, one night because he's got a really good story about this uh, app that he's uh, put together, uh, which makes it uh, very simple for uh, creating uh, processes and procedures. She looks like you uh, oh no, I, I thought you'd disappear, but someone else has. <laughs> so welcome along, Grant. Thank you. Glad you're here. All right. Who else we got here tonight? Hi, Kamal. How are you? Hi, Nick. Hi, all entrepreneurs. So, and what are you hoping um, to get friend. out of tonight, Kamal? Yeah, so actually, uh, I'm the founder of the software company, and uh, our company name is Nanotech Softtech. Like Jem, we also believe in automation. So our tagline is think crazy, develop different. And uh, we have expertise in any kind of the software development. Uh, if I brief it out, it is like website development, portfolio, web applications development, and uh, any kind of the apps like Android apps, iOS and hybrid apps. So if uh, like we are here to convert uh, your ideas, which developed from here and you can bring into the software, which is in your hands. And uh, like uh, any of your business operations, you want to convert from the manual to automations, uh, we are here to help you. And uh, we are looking for all the entrepreneurs who are looking to convert their ideas from here into the software, into their mobile or the laptops. Please contact us. I have put all my credentials so, in that chat window. Yeah. So please. Thank you. Sounds like you're a really good person to know. So, so welcome along uh, again tonight. Thank you. All right. And we have Annie. You had your hand up, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Third time lucky. Hi, everyone. I'm Annie. I'm an animal communicator and an animal medium. So I have conversations with animals who are living and in spirit and help support their human parents better understand what's happening with health or behaviour issues. Uh, and also an author of two books. So, and you're hoping to get out of tonight? Uh, any strategies to be more efficient uh, with running my business because at the moment it just seems to be consuming everything doing social media and talking to clients and it's just and doing a full-time job as well it's a lot of work geez you sound like a small business owner mm, funny that <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, well, that's definitely what tonight's about, is to uh, try and help us to be less busy, be more productive, and uh, actually enjoy this uh, journey uh, called entrepreneurship and uh, business ownership. All right, who else? We've got time for a couple more introductions, and then we'll get straight into it. Hi, Karen. Hey, Nick. Hey, Audra and everyone else I have or haven't met. Um, I am Karen also known as the Quantum Queen. And I work with businesses to uh, grow the business owners, women business owners mainly, although I have done, I have worked with some men, haven't I, Nick, to grow their businesses and actually achieve what it is they really would love in life through the invisible side of success. The things that you don't learn at university or business college, the things like the quantum 
quantum physics, the quantum world, the universal laws, the infinite, all the things that actually do really cause our results. And yet many of us know very little about it. So it's me and I want to get out of tonight. I always get heaps out of your webinars and gatherings and networking, Nick. So I'm looking forward to get out of it the usual and more. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Oh, good you're here and um, good you're sort of uh, able to uh, help us to uh, understand ourselves because uh, I surely don't <laughs> understand myself. And I apologize for popping around and moving the video, but I decided to change to my computer and I was on the other side of the room and I had to hop on my one crutch because I couldn't carry my computer with I was carrying it with one hand and I couldn't carry two crap. That's right. For those that don't know, uh, Karen met with a little disaster and broke her leg over the uh, holidays. <laughs> anyway, great. Excellent. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's crack into it. And I shall uh, start at the middle and go to the beginning. So this is Business Owners Smashing Online. It is a uh, webinar for business owners, entrepreneurs, and uh, people that are uh, looking to... Uh, uh, improve themselves in business. Uh, we do focus on the online aspects uh, of business and some of the tools and apps that are available to uh, help us along. Uh, but of course, that's not everything that just happens to be our focus. So welcome along uh, tonight. We do have agenda, uh, as we uh, always do. And uh, that is I have some cool online tools that uh, I have tonight that I'll present. Uh, we have Tim Hyde, who is our uh, main guest, uh, talking about uh, how to win more clients with uh, less effort. So uh, he's going to help us with some of those uh, things that we're uh, looking to learn tonight. Uh, and we've got, and we will have time for questions. And we do have a prize draw tonight. So if I forget, uh, like I did last week, someone please remind me. <laughs> Uh, and uh, then we've got the next event, talk about the next event and a few uh, housekeeping bits and pieces before we close tonight. So uh, before we get started, let's uh, check in on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever app that uh, you happen to like. Uh, so feel free to take a, uh, screen, uh, a photo of the screen or yourself or whatever. Just check in there to um, uh, let everyone know that you're here and to build your own digital profile. And uh, really simple to do. If you're on Facebook, you just tap on where you'd normally post, you know, what's on your mind. Uh, a little menu comes up from the bottom, click check in and you'll find business owners smashing it online uh, come up. Uh, actually, it might not come up. So you might just have to search for it. And uh, it'll tell you probably that we're still at the KDV Sports Center, uh, but we're not. We're online. So um, and feel free to tag me in. Uh, feel free to um, tag Tim in. And anyone else that you think uh, might uh, benefit from uh, being here tonight as well, too. All right. So first stop for tonight is some of our cool online tools. So I'll just bring up my uh, browser screen. All right. And hopefully just give us a thumbs up if you can see the nine examples of testimonial request. Excellent. All right, that means I've got the, uh, the right screen. All right, so tonight, uh, testimonials, uh, testimonials, testimonials, and reviews uh, is probably one of the most important things that you can get in business. Uh, and generally, some of the platforms, uh, well, there's three platforms that I think uh, you, you should really focus on. Pick one or two. You don't have to pick them all. Uh, and uh, go and collect and gather reviews there. It's less important to collect the reviews on your website. Uh, uh, it's more important to collect, collect them in public forums like uh, Google My Business, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, because uh, that's where people are going to find them first. So that creates a link uh, or some... Uh, curated knowledge out there of what people think of you and uh, are recommending you, which will then lead them to uh, your website, uh, your social media profiles, and for them to find out a wee bit more uh, about you. So, um, and just to give you an example, I've probably spoken about this before, but we did have uh, one client that we worked with that had a, uh, just a handful of uh, uh, Google reviews. And we implemented a process where we created a template for him to send out by SMS after he'd finished his job. 
He sent it out with his uh, report that he'd prepared, and he also sent it out with the invoice. And uh, he ended up getting, I think current figure is about 270 reviews. It took about a year and a half, a year and three quarters to get that many reviews. Uh, but now when people call him, he uh, asks them, uh, you know, what's the, pro what's the primary reason why they called him over their, his competitors? And uh, that's 60% of the time, it is because of his reviews. They, they saw his reviews and thought he's got 200 and something reviews. The next best competitor down had about 70. And uh, that was a large organization. He's a sole trader. So uh, those rev reviews were what uh, got uh, them to ring him. Now notice that uh, it wasn't that they read the reviews, it's that they noticed the reviews. And it's they noticed that he, that he had 200 plus reviews. So just the process of having it's important, uh, whether they read them or not. So this site here, uh, people often ask, you know, well, how do we go about collecting it? You know, you've got some templates. This site here has some great uh, uh, examples or some great templates that you can use to uh, ask for testimonials. And uh, you can download these templates and uh, use them. So, uh, uh, that, so some are email and some are uh, you can use in text. So there are about nine or so uh, uh, examples of templates. Which one's the best one, you, you may ask? Well, look, I've got no idea. So uh, my suggestion is uh, just to download uh, at least one or two of them, start using them and testing them to see which one gives you the, uh, uh, the best uh, results. So you can use them for uh, making sales uh, after delivering a service. Uh, and uh, it's also the sort of thing that you can uh, put on a web page so that uh, you can send people an email to uh, visit your web page to leave your review or the link through to um, Google My Business. So you do want to make it as easy as possible. These test, these uh, templates are a really good start uh, for you to start uh, sending some of these uh, out. So uh, that site there is called uh, boast.io. And uh, we'll drop the link in here. Oh, it's already there. Uh, into chat. We'll drop the link for all of these apps into chat. Uh, at the end of uh, this evening or at the end of this uh, segment here, you can download them. Uh, so if you open up chat, which is in a little icon down at the uh, bottom bar of uh, your screen there. And when you've opened up chat, you'll see three little dots at the right hand side down the bottom. If you click on those three little dots, it gives you the option to save it. So you can save it to your computer. So it means that you can uh, go back to them tomorrow or some other time to um, really uh, explore them. All right, so that review review templates. The next one I thought was really quite interesting. This one is how to get video reviews. So you know how uh, how much uh, video is um, you know, becoming more and more important, uh, particularly you know, when you're looking at social media feeds and uh, you know, so people are, are just consuming a lot more video. So video testimonials are great. Uh, in the past, we had to uh, collect them, uh, you know, with a uh, having an iPhone or a camera, you know, with people present. But this particular app here uh, means that you can embed this in your website, send people to your website, and they can record a testimonial from within your uh, uh, web page on your uh, website. So um, I, I saw this with a uh, chap that I follow by the name of Chris Lemma. He's a uh, WordPress uh, expert, and he had this on his page, and it's actually really quite cool. So um, the, other, the other really good thing about it is it's free. So you can download this, you sign up, download it, and uh, you grab a little piece of code, which you just uh, paste into your website, into the page that you're putting it in. And uh, then you can start sending people there to record a uh, testimonial. So, um, so it's a really, really good uh, piece of software. You can use those videos anywhere. So just because they record it there, you can then go and upload those to social media. You can uh, leave them embedded into your website. Uh, you can use them in emails. Uh, wherever you need to uh, display or where, where it might be helpful to display those uh, testimonials. So that site is called testimonial.to. The, uh, the next one is uh, calendars. So uh, we're getting into the beginning of the year. Uh, my calendar is starting to uh, book up and uh, there are a heap of booking calendars uh, out there. Sometimes it's a game of uh, who can send their calendar link first. Uh, and 
and you know if you do get a calendar link then you've got to go and check your uh, you know open up your own calendar on your computer or your phone find out when you're available so so you can go and book calendly does you know if you've got a calendly account uh, that will actually check for uh, you know when you're available but uh, this is the first app that I've seen uh, that uh, allows you to overlay your calendar uh, on top of the uh, the booking calendar. So uh, when you open up the calendar to book, if so, if someone sends you a link and you open it up, uh, then there's a little toggle down the uh, bottom here which says overlay my calendar and uh, it will grab your calendar and overlay it over the uh, top of it so you can see when you're free uh, and when you can uh, book an, an appointment or uh, you know, book a time. Conversely, you can also send this out to uh, someone else and they can then overlay their calendar uh, over the top of it to see where their free spots are. So really from a convenience point of view, uh, awesome concept. And, um, and, and it means that, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who sends the calendar, you're, you're always going to have uh, your calendar overlaying over the top so you can see when you're free and when you're busy. So it just makes the whole experience a whole lot easier. And that's really the primary premise that the, uh, this, these people had for uh, building this uh, calendar. So um, it's worth uh, checking out. Uh, if you're looking for a booking calendar, then it's worth having a look at this one. Uh, if you're looking at changing one, it's also worth uh, having a look. Uh, Cost-wise, it's probably about the same as a, a Calendly, uh, if you've got a Calendly account. Uh, the other thing that they have done to try and uh, bring Calendly people across is uh, you can import everything from Calendly. And uh, if you've got a uh, subscription with Calendly, they'll credit that subscription to your subscription to this service. So uh, it's a uh, all win, no, live, no lose uh, solution. So that one there is called SavvyCal.com. Next one is uh, for those that are into audio, video, uh, images, that sort of thing. Uh, this site here called Capwing has got a whole host of easy uh, video and image uh, editing tools. So um, if you're not particularly techie, uh, this is the site for you. So uh, rather than using, uh, say, Photoshop or uh, uh, something like um, Lightroom or you know, video, video editing, editing software, which uh, can be quite complicated, uh, then uh, this site here is a great place to start because it's got uh, all sorts of tools. So uh, like I did the other day, I uh, recorded a video so it was a screen share video and uh, my microphone was turned off. So I was talking for about a quarter of an hour uh, to myself. Um, so uh, all I did was uh, I could come into uh, here, add audio to video, record a, uh, an audio track while I was watching the, uh, the video again and uh, uh, splice it all in here with uh, add audio to uh, video. So you can do things like uh, generate memes as well. So memes are those sort of images. So that's a bit like uh, you know, what you can do on Canva. So this is a, uh, another option uh, as well. You can uh, add subtitles to videos and captions to uh, videos. Uh, it's about a um, hundred and something odd uh, tools in here as well too. Um, so um, and you can even do things like translate uh, videos and video captions as well. So, um, uh, if, if you've got, uh, if you're needing to do things with uh, video or images, uh, Capwing has definitely got a whole lot of tools that are really quite uh, useful. So, and, and a lot of these are free as well too, uh, up to a certain level. So you can get in and start playing around and uh, it's all free. All right, next one is, oh, this one here was um, for those that are doing email marketing, uh, just to be aware of some of the uh, spam laws. This is really quite important. Uh, and, um, and here's a big business uh, in Australia, Kogan, who's a big uh, electronics retailer. Well, these days they sell uh, travel and homewares and all sorts of things as well. But uh, anyone that is a um, member of Kogan or signed up to Kogan knows that you get uh, you know, three to four or two to three emails uh, every day uh, promoting products. That, and uh, they have got all sorts of abandoned cart emails and everything. So they were recently in trouble. This is back in 2009. They've been fined uh, quite a significant amount. Um, I can't quite remember how much it was, but uh, really what it was, was this section here. Uh, and it was the unsubscribe feature. So if you're sending out emails without an unsubscribe on your uh, uh, on your email, then uh, you need to ensure 
that uh, you um, uh, have always have an unsubscribe on the email. Don't make it difficult for people. So, so the reason why Kogan got into trouble was that people had to click on, they clicked on the unsubscribe link, but they had to go to the, uh, they took them to the website and they had to sign into the website to unsubscribe. Now, a lot of people had, um, uh, had trouble uh, logging in because they couldn't remember the passwords. It was taking too long. So they couldn't get rid of uh, the emails that were coming through. So they complained to the regulatory authority uh, and they got a heap of complaints about it. And so they ended up uh, fining them. Um, uh, 400, what was it? $497 million. There you go. So, yeah. So, so there's a fair fine there. So um, where, Nick, it's, it's $5,000 per oh, incident. So basically per person on your list, it's $5,000 for a company. Excellent. All right. Well, there you go. So, uh, so it is a reasonably serious thing. Businesses do get hit with it. I, I personally know a business, a small business in Western Australia a few years back that got fined a million dollars uh, for um, the, um, his spamming and he was really spamming too. So, and he knew it. So, um, so that one is, is really just to be aware that, uh, you know, if you're using uh, email tools, these are spam laws, they are serious and you need to ensure that you are compliant. All right. And that links uh, to that article is in chat too, if you uh, happen to want to uh, read the uh, full amount. All right, well, that's our cool online tools and uh, apps for this evening. Any, uh, any favorites there or any sort of comments about uh, any of those apps that uh, uh, you'd like to uh, chat about? Drop a, drop a uh, something in chat or feel free to unmute and tell us what your favorite was or any questions. Thank They're you. All really good. They're all really good. All really good. Excellent. All right. Reminded to get testimonials. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, Capwing is, uh, so someone's going to go and sort of spend all day on uh, Capwing. You can certainly spend a whole week on Capwing, I think, uh, editing videos and doing all sorts of things. Excellent. Helpful. Um, awesome. Nick, I, I hope that uh, Tim's able to uh, tell us how not to use them and find somebody else to do it for us. <laughs> I think that's uh, really what part of the process is supposed to be about, isn't it? 